So Dr. Martin, what do you think the most important thing to know about breast augmentation is? So Amy, why don't you tell me what the most important thing to know about breast augmentation is? <laughs> it's all about the implant selection. Yeah, it's about implant selection. So implant selection is really the key when it comes to breast augmentation. You, you're gonna find the perfect surgeon for you. You're gonna find a board certified surgeon. You're gonna find someone who does this on a daily basis. It's the most common surgery we do. The key is picking the correct implant. And Amy, why don't you tell me how to pick a correct implant? The most important thing is to make sure that you match the body type and the size of the breast. Right, so when you go into your plastic surgeon's office, they're gonna measure the width of the breast, the length from this sternal notch here, this bony prominence here down to your nipple, and also the length from your nipple to the base of your breast. Those three measurements will help you and help the surgeon decide the perfect implant that goes in there. And then from those measurements, then you can do whatever you want, right, Amy? You can make it more projecting, less projecting, larger or smaller. And that is the best way to do a breast augmentation. Those are the three key measurements that are gonna make the difference for your surgery. Right. All in that same vein with the amount of implants that they're to choose from, can we please kill the gummy bear implants? Yeah, gummy bear implants was made by Mentor. It was a marketing tool. And from my standpoint, I'm so sick of hearing about gummy bear implants. All implants now that we use that are silicone are gummy bear implants. They're, um, a fourth generation or fifth generation in, uh, silicone and they have the same qualities as the gummy bear implants meaning that if you cut that implant in half and turn the implant over then the uh, silicone wouldn't spill out and also you can form that silicone into different shapes so that's an anatomic shaped implant or a teardrop shaped implant one other question amy come on i think the just kind of brief overview of what is involved in breast augmentation all right so breast augmentation takes me an hour you do it with intravenous sedation, no general anesthesia, no tube in your, uh, the back of your throat to help you breathe. Uh, the way I do it, we do a special block that goes into the pectoralis muscle, so you don't wake up with a lot of pain. Uh, we usually do it through an inframammary approach, or, or an incision at the bottom of the breast, but you can do it around the areola or in the armpit. Most of the time, it's at the bottom of the breast. Afterwards, it's about a one or two week of recovery. Uh, you have swelling for at least four weeks, up to eight to 12 weeks. But about four weeks, you'll see the difference. You'll see the nice change that you had sought after. In reality, for breast augmentation, for most people, I think it's one of the best surgeries we do. It's, it's instant gratification. Instant gratification. The cost is reasonable for most people. And an hour of surgery, and then you're done.